least midnight local time. So thanks again for joining us for this special edition of Weather Center Live. I'm Kelly Cass. And I'm Paul Goodlow. We're here, we're here with you all night long to keep you ahead of these storms. We already had at least uh, maybe nine reports of tornadoes, and they're still concerned right now for severe weather. Let's head over to the expert area and check in with our storm tracker, Jim Cantore. Jim? Hey guys, we're gonna uh, pick up where we left off with Dr. Greg Forbes talking about that tornado warning. Uh, and as Sarah said, the winds potentially here up to 100 miles per hour, whether you get the tornado or not, uh, you're, you're in trouble with 100 mile hour winds. Yeah, this is the same uh, bow echo that yeah. gave strong winds in the Omaha area. It is now down, getting very close to the southern border of Iowa, about ready to move into Missouri. Uh, and note though that there's this whole train load of storms here. So Omaha, you already have flooding. There's probably at least five more storms that may come through that may each give an inch of rain. So we're going to have big flooding threats, bigger than tonight than we have right When's now. When's the last time you saw a supercell? travel four states. Yeah. This started in South Dakota. Yeah, it, it really has uh, gone a long, long time. Once in a while we've had that, uh, but usually they're going northeast bound when their supercells going that oh, far. We had one one time that came from Kansas all the way to Michigan. I forget the oh, distance, but uh, but this is certainly a Still long living. High precipitation. You can see the arms coming in, so it is sort of a hybrid. At times it's been primarily a bow echo, but now it's got itself some big broad swirl in it, uh, so that embedded in the middle here near the Mount Air area, uh, around the Ringgold area. There you see the velocity. So big broad circulation there uh, showing up in the Doppler velocities uh, with uh, pretty fast winds. I'll go to the high resolution radar well, here. It's kind of interesting that we've had this storm that's been out ahead of this with some uh, golf ball hail. I hit the wrong button. Uh, and, and, and rain and whatnot, Greg Forbes. But why hasn't that, you know, kind of slowed this thing down? It almost looks like it's about to merge with that or catch up with it. Well, part of what the reason is that with all that big hail, the hail melts and, and cools the air. And so uh, it keeps just generating the, the fast moving for the storm uh, okay. so uh, here is the storm we're talking about. There is the broad rotation. Uh, it's running along boundaries of storms that have come out ahead of mm -hmm. it and the front. And so uh, the, uh, the the normalized rotation in here, not extremely strong at this instant, but the problem with this one is at this point, that rotation is in totally back in the middle of this rain and hail. And so uh, you're not going to see this one coming if it does produce a tornado. And it definitely, as you say, it's going to have some pretty strong quarter of a winds coming right toward Lamoni, Iowa. Yeah, and this is going to come right into northern Missouri and, and potentially catch this first cell. Yeah, it really, really will. So Emerge, coming right. into Lamoni there about 714 and then angling its way into Missouri, Lind Lindley about 734. All right, again, guys, uh, whether you get the tornado warning or not, 100 mile an hour winds should be sufficient enough uh, to yep. warn you to get out of harm's way with this. We'll, uh, that will cause uh, EF1 damage oh, yeah. it, in places where it gusts that fast. Absolutely. Let's go back to Omaha here. You can see all this stuff is going to eventually maybe head down toward Kirksville. This is this lead storm, which yep. uh, again may catch up with it. Look at the hail core in that one. Could be yeah, softball size coming towards That's generally coming towards the Kirksville, Kirksville area. area. Right. And, and then just to the north of Newtown and Pollock, the Unionville area. Oh, Look yeah. at that size of that one. Uh, going to be bigger than baseball. I'm thinking a loft close to four inches. So uh, that's probably going to be bigger than baseball size coming right down in that white core there. Do you see any rotation with that? Or? Uh, there's definitely some rotation. I mean, you can see how the storm is uh, spiraling. So all of these are rotating, but they're rotating stronger aloft than they are at the surface. So uh, there is some rotation there definitely in that uh, heading toward the Newtown area. You can never totally rule out a brief tornado in these storms, although it seems like we're not getting long-lived tornadoes thus far today. All right, so Omaha, here's round two coming through you now. Again, still raining. We have a lot of flooding in Omaha and Council Bluffs and Iowa. Uh, looks like we're going to have a little bit of a break there. Let's head yep. west again, and now we're going to pretty much quickly catch up uh, with the David City cell, or yep. the Wahoo cell, which you're, you know, again, we're waiting it for it to go tornado. Definitely. You can see how it's running along a boundary then with its own gust front, its own rain-cooled air coming around here. So it has the warm air coming in. It has the boundary there. So it's in a position where there's a lot of things in its favor. And uh, if I can get the right buttons pushed, we may be able to take that one, a look at that one in high resolution radar. And I did hit 18, the right yep. button, thank goodness. And this is one that continues to wrap around with that big hail core. Look at all that hail there. Uh, there is the boundary and then there's warm air coming in. So a, a triple point, if you will, uh, and again, uh, if I take a look at the normalized rotation in this, it continues oh, yeah, to show at right at that triple point location that there could be a tornado or a funnel cloud, at least, if it's not reaching the ground. I think this is hail, not a debris signature. We'll take a quick look at the correlation. Uh, but again, the, the, the correlation uh, s uh, seems to be all in the low 
low precipitation, the, the clear air. So can't say there's any debris with this at the moment, but boy, I'd be scared of there possibly being a tornado uh, with this at some point this evening. It's going into an area, Jim, that we saw, showed earlier, high tornado potential. All right, and this one also may head down toward Lincoln, at least the southern flank of that, uh, as it's kind of yeah. building toward the south. So Chapman, uh, Oak Creek, uh, keep an eye on this. Wahoo at 722. Guys, we'll keep you posted here from the update desk. Right now, let's go back to Paul and Kelly. All right, thanks, gentlemen. And again, we're still watching severe weather, not only tornadoes, but also the producing uh, strong wind, also damaging hail as well. In fact, take a look at these live pictures coming out of uh, Garrison, Nebraska. You can see the dark skies and more rain coming down. Yeah, Bob Pack is uh, actually chasing that storm right now. He joins us now on the phone right now. And Bob, it looks like that severe thunderstorm warning for Saunders and also Colfax and Butler continues at least for another few minutes. Yes, and I'm not surprised. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm starting to get bomb bombarded by one-inch hail right now. Uh, very soon I'm going to have to uh, start east. Uh, I'm just east of Brainerd, Nebraska right now. And looking at the map, uh, Garrison is about, what, about 60 miles or so to uh, east uh, or to the west of Omaha. Where have you been today and what have you seen so far this afternoon? Well, I've seen some insane cloud motions, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, I did see a brief tornado earlier. Uh, I can't recollect right now the exact location, but it was about six or seven miles away from me, lasted about five minutes. Um, but other than that, it's just been hail. I'm starting to get a lot more uh, cloud to ground lightning here as well. And visibility is getting, as you may can see on the stream, it's getting uh, rather difficult to see. And Bob, according to the National Weather Service, that storm that you're looking at right now is moving very quickly to the southeast at 80 miles per hour. What is your plan? Uh, <laughs> Well, I don't think I can drive 80 miles per hour, so okay. uh, there's, a, there's a high prob probability I'm going to maybe turn around and do a 180. Right, Bob. Be and careful get back out there. Us. We'll check back with you. The exquisite Toyota Highlander has ever been. Oh, ah, ah, ah. Hey, it's got a bin for your chicken. A computer from the future. It's a giant freaky room for it. Oh, yeah, but it ain't got no room for boring. I'm spacing out on all this space to it. No, we ain't got no room for boring. For boring, we ain't got no room. The 2014 Highlander. Toyota. Yeah, Let's go yeah, places. Yeah. What? I'm just like everybody else. Oh, yeah. I put my pants on one leg at a time. So my pants are 22 different flavors. But other than that, I'm completely normal. Try any of our 22 delicious flavors. Smile. It's Kool-Aid. I'm MMA champ Chuck Liddell, and I stop things. <laughs> Just like Dural Ass Breaks. They stop anything! Dural Ass, proven tough. Get in the zone, auto zone. Grow. It's what we do. But when we put something in the ground, feed it, and care for it, don't we grow something more? We grow big celebrations and personal victories. We grow new beginnings and better endings. Grand gestures and perfect quiet. We grow escape, bragging rights, happier happy hours. So let's grow something greater with miracle Grow. What will you grow? Share your story at MiracleGrow.com. Tonight's scheduled programming will not be seen, so we can bring you essential severe weather coverage. Right now, we're tracking storms that will affect tens of millions of Americans. We'll be out here covering it for you, keeping you ahead of the storm. You need to watch tonight and tomorrow morning for essential coverage of the severe weather outbreak, only on the Weather Channel. Currently in our area, 84 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Tonight, a stray thunderstorm is possible through the evening. Some clouds, low 70. Wednesday, partly cloudy, hot, high 91. Here's our seven day outlook.
Tonight's scheduled programming will not be seen, so we can bring you essential severe weather coverage. We're going to be with you all night long covering the severe weather threat. Only on the Weather Channel. Whoa. Nobody insures more bikes than Progressive. Do you guys ride? Well, no. Sometimes. Yes. Yeah. Well, if you know anybody else who also rides, send them here. We got great coverage. It's not like bikers love their bikes more than life itself. <laughs> I doubt anyone will even notice. Leading the pack in motorcycle insurance. Now that's progressive. Call or click today. <laughs> In 1902, Carrier introduced the world to modern air conditioning, and we've been improving on the idea ever since. So if you're getting the idea to upgrade to a more comfortable, more efficient system, you really ought to think about Carrier. And there's no better time to talk than right now. Get up to 60 months financing with 0% interest on a new home comfort system. Carrier, turn to the experts. Welcome back to Weather Center Live and take a look at these pictures in baseball size hail. We're talking uh, almost three inches in diameter. This picture taken in Blair, Nebraska by uh, Caitlin Harrison there. And there's a lot more of where this picture came from. Yeah, in fact, it's piling up in some cases. This is a huge pile of hail. This is here in Omaha, Nebraska. Sarah McAllister sending this one in on Twitter. It almost looks like snow. Yeah, and hail can do this. Hail damage in Fort Calhoun, Nebraska. And uh, siding is damaged. The window is broken. And that's the side of a house. Imagine what the roof could look like. Imagine the roof of a car. And yeah. Speaking of cars, there There's we go. There's a car right there. Chris Cram uh, tweeting this one out or putting this out on Instagram. Hooper, Nebraska showing a windshield that was smashed and certainly the hood was really dented up pretty badly. So this is just one of the many hazards that we are dealing with this evening. Yeah, and this part of the country, not just uh, in, uh, homes and not just cars, but we also have to worry Ooh. about livestock out here. And now it looks like the, even the tower cam here in Omaha is getting rocked by the strong winds. Another storm is now moving into Omaha, Nebraska. We're already we're under a flash flood warning and more heavy rain. Dangerous lightning is moving on in. Our storm tracker Jim Cantori is out there in our Global Forecast Center. Our severe weather expert Dr. Greg Forbes has been tracking these storms for us as well. Hey guys. Hey, yeah, we've been watching uh, especially this one supercell, which has had a history of incredible winds, 70 to 100 miles per hour, literally from South Dakota through Nebraska, Iowa, now on the Missouri. Border. Yeah, it's a storm that has transitioned from being an individualized supercell, then it gusts out, turns into a bow echo, goes back to rotating, and it all began, well, right about here. So uh, put it in motion, Sarah. We'll oh, see wow. that uh, back from where it began, uh, you can see this big, long track of where it has gone. It went through Omaha, and now it's coming down toward Lamoni, Iowa. And if we measure that out, we'll see that beginning about here, it has gone all the way down. It gets to the Iowa border here, wow. 500 miles. Wow. So that certainly is double the duration that you need dis distance wise uh, and now we're beginning to get the second so can we you have, have just multiple one uh, yes when you have wow. one, just one that's with an individual storm like this one that's called a progressive derecho it's a little on the narrow side there might be some sticklers that say it's not big enough but now that we're getting a second or, or third of these that are coming down and off to its west it will definitely meet the width requirements but when you get more than one of these bow echoes that are causing it they become what is called a serial derecho event and this one is gone probably although I'm not sure this is all one storm but 391 miles for that stretch and so serial cumulatively one. that becomes when there's more than one produce a cumulative widespread wind swath. Those are called serial derechos. Interesting night, uh, Greg Force. All right, let's talk about where we are now and where this serial may go because that'll be, actually, we've still got both of them Yeah, we on. still have the, the, the one individual that's down here, but then what I'm talking about, the serial, there's more than one of these lines and bows that are rolling along the same path, mostly going along the south flanks of the outflow boundary and, and the front that, that the first one had. So these storms, obviously, then are going to continue overnight. Let's do a forecast, Sarah, uh, the highest uh, uh, risk that we put out, the greatest risk for these bow echoes rolling across uh, and with tornadoes with it as well. But that overnight tonight is likely to roll into central parts of uh, uh, Illinois and then even into tomorrow, likely to keep going across parts of Ohio, Indiana, maybe getting all the way to the Appalachians there in parts of Pennsylvania, West Virginia, Northern Kentucky. So, And this may be the same bow we're watching now. I think so, yeah. At Panera Bread, we choose only crunchy, flavorful hearts of romaine for our salads, and only chicken raised without antibiotics. 
because we want each of our hand-tossed, made-to-order salads to be the tastiest salads for the season. Panera Bread. Find your Panera Bread favorite and share with us. Hashtag Panera Faves. Check. Hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. <gasps> <gasps> no! Energizer protects your devices from damaging leaks. Here's to the man who truly is the best of us. Who really has the key to the city? With best-in-class payload and best-in-class cargo capacity and an unsurpassed powertrain warranty, you run the town. The all-new Ram Promaster. Guts. Glory. Ram. My mornings are definitely not routine, and that can take a lot of energy. Introducing Nature Valley Breakfast Biscuits. Four biscuits, 26 grams of whole grains that give you the energy to help keep you going. I love Nature Valley Breakfast Biscuits. This season, we're taking back the backyard. Let's mix, let's match, and let's grab these guys. Add this guy, ooh, and this cool new thing. Save all these guys, and then let's mix it up. Let's turn the space we always had into the space we've always wanted. Let's do this. More saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. Get free bug stop for indoors with purchase of Traz Aside for outdoors. Tonight's scheduled programming will not be seen, so we can bring you essential severe weather coverage. Right now, we're tracking storms that will affect tens of millions of Americans. We'll be out here covering it for you, keeping you ahead of the storm. You need to watch tonight and tomorrow morning for essential coverage of this severe weather outbreak, only on the Weather Channel. Whether you love tigers because they epitomize the wild or simply because they are the most magnificent of the big cats, there is something you should know. Over the last century, we have lost 97% of wild tiger populations. As few as 3,200 tigers exist in the wild today. Criminals are killing them for their skins and bones. We need to do something before it's too late. World Wildlife Fund works to protect wild tigers, but we can't do it without you. For just $8 a month, you can symbolically adopt a tiger, and you can help save them and other endangered species and their habitats. To adopt now, call us, or go online to wwfnow.org and receive your free adoption kit as our way of saying thank you. Wild tiger numbers are at an all-time low. Please, help save them now. Tonight's scheduled programming will not be seen, so we can bring you essential severe weather coverage. We're going to be with you all night long covering the severe weather threat. Only on the Weather Channel. Stay tuned for your local on the 8. Brought to you by Allstate. Are you in good hands? It's always the same dilemma. Who gets the Allstate safe driving bone check? Rock beats scissors. <laughs> Wife beats rock. And with two checks a year. Everyone wins. Switch today and get two safe driving bonus checks a year for driving safely only from Allstate. Call 866-906-8500 now. Zach really loves his new camera. Problem is, this isn't Zach. It's a friend of a friend who was at Zach's party and stole his camera. But Zach's got it covered with Allstate Renters Insurance. Protect your valuables for as low as $4 a month when you add renters insurance to your Allstate auto policy. Call 866-906-8500 now. What are you doing? We're switching car insurance. Why? Because these guys are the cheapest. Why? Good question. Because a cut rate price could mean cut rate protection. You should listen to this guy. With Allstate, you get great protection and a great price, plus an agent. Drivers who switch saved an average of $498 a year. Call now and see how much you can save. Just a few more ways Allstate Allstate is changing car insurance for good. Call an Allstate agent and get a quote now. Currently in our area, 84 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Tonight, a stray thunderstorm is possible through the evening. Partly cloudy, low 70. 
Wednesday. Intervals of clouds and sunshine. Hot. High 91. Here's our seven-day outlook. Welcome back to this extended edition of Weather Center Live. Here's a live look at Omaha, Nebraska. Thunderstorms have been dumping rain across the region, and now the strong, gusty, damaging winds are coming on through here. We're talking some of the thunderstorms are moving at uh, 70, 80 miles per hour. Some of the wind gusts are approaching 100 miles per hour. So whether you have a tornado or not, these storms, the winds in it are doing plenty of damage. Take a look at the watches here. These are tornado watches here in the red, including Omaha, and then out to uh, the west of here, Rapid City, areas of South Dakota, Nebraska, as well as Wyoming, you're under a severe thunderstorm uh, watch as well. You can see lines of showers and thunderstorms, and unfortunately, we're starting to have a couple of things happen here. One is a uh, heavy rain threat, especially for Des Moines, Omaha flooding going on right now, not to mention the damaging wind and still a tornado threat. Uh, Gentry, Harrison, Mercer counties under severe thunderstorm warnings till 7.30 local time, and we're also concerned with uh, more storms like even Ringgold County. You had a tornado warning, and now it's a severe thunderstorm warning. Omaha, not severe, but heavy rain for you. But just to the west of you, we have Lancaster and Saunders County under a severe thunderstorm warning until 745 local time. And the rain and the lightning continues to just pummel this entire area. And we're going to see more and more of this as we head throughout the evening. But take a look at this. It's all raining on the same areas. And, you know, we already got rain west to east, and the rain is still moving from the west to the east over the same areas that just got dumped on on rain. So. And this is one of the things kind of overlooked a lot of time is the flood, flash flood and the flooding potential with this. We're going to finally push it out overnight, but then we have a, a wind, a strong damaging windstorm blow on through areas of northern Missouri, central Illinois, perhaps even Chicago, and then pushing on towards the southern Great Lakes, maybe even Detroit as we head on towards tomorrow. We're also concerned with more severe weather across the Ohio Valley as we head towards this time on your Wednesday. So tonight, you see here in the kind of the pink and purplish, the greatest risk for severe weather, mainly damage winds and tornadoes and large hail right here from eastern Nebraska stretching across into Iowa and northern Missouri. Our TORCON or Tornado Conditions Index we're talking fours and fives here across northern Missouri and much of southern uh, Iowa, southeastern Iowa, northeastern Missouri. A 40% chance of seeing a tornado within 50 miles of this location and already closing in on about a dozen reports of tornadoes so far just this evening. Across the region tomorrow, more strong and severe thunderstorms from the Dakotas back onto the Wyoming areas of northeastern Colorado and back to the Panhandle, Nebraska. And then we have another area stretching across the Ohio Valley, which will see strong and severe thunderstorms, wind and hail, huge concerns, not to mention lightning as we push this right across St. Louis, Indianapolis, Louisville, Cincinnati, even on towards Charleston, even Pittsburgh. DC, you can see this tomorrow as well. But right now we have a new thunder warning into uh, Iowa. We're talking about uh, Decatur County. I think we can pull that up on uh, the radar. I think I might have it on, even on Max One. Uh, we might have uh, Max Two. Here we go. Uh, Decatur, Iowa, under a tornado warning. This is just north of the Missouri border here. Davis City, Lamoni, New Buda, all under a tornado warning right now. So 7:45 local time. Uh, Doppler radar, like it has numerous times already this afternoon and this evening has reported rotation within the thunderstorm. First sign we could have a developing tornado and most likely it could be wrapped in rain here as we head across southern Iowa. Kelly. And remember, we are with you all day, all night to keep you ahead of the tornado and severe weather threat. You can stay with the Weather Channel on air, online, and we're always available on your mobile device as well. Well, Scott Newell is live in Des Moines, Iowa, where residents are on a severe weather alert, not just severe storms, but also a flood threat. And Scott, what are you seeing at this hour? Yeah, it's just started to rain a little bit heavier. It's not raining that heavily right now, but the flash flood watch begins in about a half hour, goes through the night, so you got to be careful. Rains as high as three to five inches per hour in some spots. They're expecting accumulations of about two to four in most spots. We have been seeing a lot of lightning in the western sky up here, some really dandy lightning, in fact, but uh, so far it's stayed pretty far away. If you are, though, in one of these areas where there are the possibility of flash floods, like right here, then you've got to be careful. In fact, in 2008, the area that we're standing in right now, it flooded right up to here. We're uh, near a hotel right now, and that had water inside right into the building. So 
They're hoping that that doesn't happen here again. Again, make sure you stay overnight. The rain is going to continue, so stay close to some sort of weather forecast so you can stay safe. Back to you, Kelly. Scott, thank you so much. As part of our all-night coverage, we have crews in the field, and we'll have another severe weather update right here at the Weather Channel as well. Hey, I noticed your car's not in the driveway. Yeah, it's in the shop. It's going to cost me an arm and a leg. That's hilarious. Sorry. Should have taken it to Midas. Get some of that Midas touch. They'll tell you what stuff needs fixing and what stuff can wait. All right. Next time, going to Midas. High five. <laughs> Did not see that coming. It's time to take a closer look at your tires. Get up to $160 back by mail on a set of four Goodyear, Cooper, Firestone, and other select brands. Tires, brakes, oil, everything. She keeps you on your toes. You wouldn't have it any other way. But your erectile dysfunction, it could be a question of blood flow. Cialis Tadalafil for daily use helps you be ready anytime the moment's right. You can be more confident in your ability to be ready. And the same Cialis is the only daily ED tablet approved to treat ED and symptoms of BPH, like needing to go frequently or urgently. Tell your doctor about all your medical conditions and medicines and ask if your heart is healthy enough for sex. Do not take Cialis if you take nitrates for chest pain as it may cause an unsafe drop in blood pressure. Do not drink alcohol in excess. Side effects may include headache, upset stomach, delayed backache, or muscle ache. To avoid long-term injury, get medical help right away for an erection lasting more than four hours. If you have any sudden decrease or loss in hearing or vision, or any allergic reactions like rash, hives, swelling of the lips, tongue, or throat, or difficulty breathing or swallowing, stop taking Cialis and get medical help right away. Ask your doctor about experiencing Cialis for daily use and a free 30-tablet trial. Surely a vacuum shouldn't just work on carpets. Well, the Dyson DC65 cleans better than any other vacuum across hard floors and carpets. Works for me. Now save up to $100 on Dyson Technology. Summer's finally here, so let's grab our co-pilots and co-create some adventures. At Petco, we've got everything you need, from life vests to doggy sunscreen, even ideas on how you and your companion can make this summer one to remember. Petco. Kids are fed? Kids are fed, homework is done, baths are taken. I'm impressed. Looks like you've got everything under control. We got it all under control here. We're all good, right guys? Yeah. yeah, we're all good here. Yeah. Yep. Love you guys. Love you. Love you. Bye. Hello. Finally, a paint that's stain resistant and scrubbable. Introducing new Valspar Reserve. Now the colors you love stay the colors you love. Exclusively at Lowe's. Tonight's scheduled programming will not be seen, so we can bring you essential severe weather coverage. Right now, we're tracking storms that will affect tens of millions of Americans. We'll be out here covering it for you, keeping you ahead of the storm. You need to watch tonight and tomorrow morning for essential coverage of this severe weather outbreak, only on the Weather Channel. Currently in our area, 84 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Tonight, a stray thunderstorm is possible through the evening. Partly cloudy, low 70. Wednesday, intervals of clouds and sunshine. Hot, high 91. Here's our seven day outlook. Tonight's scheduled programming will not be seen, so we can bring you essential severe weather coverage. We're going to be with you all night long covering the severe weather threat. Only on the Weather Channel. Check out this video here. Our uh, Tornado Track team, along with Mike Bettis, driving by an overturned semi-trailer 
All thanks to the strong gusty winds that blew on, are still blowing on through areas of the plains of the Midwest here. Some reported and clocked over 90 miles per hour. And hopefully they're okay. No report of any injuries with that overturned trailer. And check this out. Video is storm moving through Omaha, Nebraska. Our own Kate Parker has been there with her crew. And you can see the rain just coming down in sheets. We've had some hail. You can see it right there bouncing off the pavement. Yeah, that's when hey, uh, Kate and her crew were taking shelter as the storm with plenty of lightning came on through there. And here's another picture picture of hail falling in uh, someone's backyard here in Norfolk, Nebraska. And the largest hailstone they measured was around two inches, which is just larger uh, than golf ball. Golf ball is 1.75 inches. So yeah, once you get over, say, an inch size hail, that considers it a severe thunderstorm. And you could see damage like this. Check this out. Uh, this car is just really dinged up by some large hail. The windshield and actually the rear window was blown out as well. So again, uh, this is a very serious situation because we've had lots of reports of large hail, damaging winds, and we're not even done yet. A flash flood threat also continues for Omaha as we look live. The camera really jumping around. Yeah, easily reports of 50, 60, 70, perhaps even 90 mile per hour wind gusts will be quite common this evening. Our reports are even ahead of this area in Iowa. Some downbursts of our 90 miles per hour knocking uh, people and trees and doing damage to homes. And again, these thunderstorms are packing a quite a strong punch on this Tuesday. Hey, welcome to a very busy Tuesday. And we have preempted programming to keep you ahead of these storms. I'm Paul Goodlow. And I'm Kelly Cass. Once again, thanks for joining us. We've had quite a bit of uh, storms already and we're not done yet. We've got some active severe watches out there, even tornado watches that are currently in effect from Iowa, northern Missouri, back into the western parts of Nebraska. So this is a tornado watch. It does include southern parts of Iowa, northern Missouri, and Omaha. That goes till 1 o'clock in the morning central. As we push a little farther western to western Nebraska, this, tor this uh, tornado watch goes until 10 o'clock mountain time, 11 uh, central, and then into the Panhandle, Nebraska, up into areas of Wyoming and South Dakota. This one extends until 8 o'clock, more of a severe wind issue with this, but even in around these areas, not to be actually in it, you can still deal with strong damaging winds, possibly even tornadoes, so do not let your guard down. This will be a long, stormy, in many places, very windy and rainy night. Our severe weather expert, Dr. Greg Forbes, is tracking these storms from our Global Forecast Center. Greg, where's the worst of it right now, you think? Well, we have quite a series of storms all the way from north central parts of Missouri back into western parts of Nebraska, all of them more or less following a front or in some cases reinforced by some of their own rain and hail cooled air uh, along a boundary. So take a look here. We're talking from Kirksville, Missouri, back into Lamoni, Iowa, where you have a tornado warning back into Omaha area. Look at all the greens beginning to line up now with flash flood warnings and then severe thunderstorms all the way back to north and east of North Platte and even beyond that. So let's just take a look here a little bit in terms of the rainfall. There's been a lot of places here where in spots there's been estimated in yellow more than three inches of rain and a pretty big swath here. Dark greens over two inches with yet for the Omaha area, for example, many more storms yet to come. So it's going to get worse in Omaha before it gets better. You see already some places there were three inches and yet probably three or four more inches could happen yet with all these storms before the night is over. Now let's take a look at some of the storms. We'll start here in northern parts of Missouri, getting very close to and just northwest of Kirksville. It's a storm that severe warnings for Grundy and Mercer and Sullivan and a number of other counties. You see at times some big hail in the lavender cores there. And then, like many of these storms, the damaging winds coming right down along the south edge of the, the storm system. Let's slide a little bit off then about toward Lamoni, Iowa, just across, just north of the Missouri border. Tornado warning there for Decatur County. This one also a big bow echo with at times some uh, strong uh, rotation showing up in that one. And I'll go to the high definition radar here and you can see there's been a bit of a merger there from the storm ahead of it with the a little bit of a storm that uh, a leading edge of the, the front storm, big hail back around the Mount Air area. But then as you go right down into the Lamoni, Iowa area, uh, there's a little bit of an appendage coming south and east there. And with some rotation showing up uh, within that, that's the normalized rotation quantified. If you look at the way we often do it with very fast winds coming south eastbound. So that probably is going to be the main thing, damaging winds coming toward and just south of Lamoni. But there is a little bit of a return flow that could also give a tornado. And if so, that could be coming toward the Lamoni, I I I Iowa area at this point. Let's uh, 
go along then. Many more storms, including uh, another one that's south and east of Omaha here, beginning to get a little bit of a circulation in that one. Look how it's beginning to spiral around. And with the inflow coming in there, there's a chance of a tornado as well as damaging winds. Damaging winds likely to be in this place where it's surging uh, forward the most. Mills, Montgomery, and Page counties in Iowa. Severe thunderstorm warnings. Keep in mind that many of these storms have had gusts 70 to in some cases maybe 80 to 90 to 100 miles per hour. This could be yet another one of those probably coming into the area just especially the strongest winds just south of Red Oak toward the Villisca areas. Let's move along then Sarah uh, and uh, we'll see that uh, a flash flood warning for the Omaha area. Then the next storm that at times has had uh, uh, pretty strong rotation signatures, Las Lancaster Saunders counties there. And if I hit the right button, we'll see this one coming in. Uh, pretty well defined little kink in the storm there uh, with uh, possibility of tornado in the area not very far away from the Brainerd area. If I can find my mouse, I'll show you the rotation showing up. But the gust front has gotten out a little bit of ahead of that. The strongest rotation showing up right up on there. And it's an interesting position because this is one where the rear flank downdraft is coming in, the inflow coming in here. And this little line is the outflow boundary from the storm out ahead of it. So the strongest rotation is in the area uh, along that old boundary. So it's going to be interesting to see when the gust front west of Brainerd hits that boundary north and east of Brainerd. No tornado warnings on this storm, but it certainly is the situation that uh, is vulnerable to having a, a tornado. That whole line coming eastbound toward the Omaha area coming back at about 807 or so. So yet again, another threat for damaging winds, hail and more rain to add to the flood woes in the Omaha area. Uh, let's see if we have time to go a little bit farther off to the west, Sarah, with additional storms coming in. And uh, this one, and the next line that is off to the uh, north of Grand Island, really getting a pronounced kink in that one at this point. Uh, with the main reason for that kink, very fast winds that are surging east here. But with that inflow and that notch there, uh, it's also a situation where you could get the possibility of a tornado. We're talking uh, the areas just to the north of Loop. And look how the winds shift along that. So you can get little brief tornadoes that spin up in there, heading toward the Fullerton area or areas just east of Loop and just to the uh, southwest of the Fullerton area. So Paul and Kelly, it continues to be a very stormy night across Nebraska and spreading more and more across southern Iowa, northern Missouri, and even overnight tonight into Illinois. Let's hope everybody stays safe. Paul, Kelly? All right, thanks, Dr. Forbes. And again, as we're still tracking this every weather, we have Mike Bettis and the Toronto track team out there in Nebraska also on the trail of uh, these strong storms. Yeah, Mike, earlier we saw your video of that tractor trailer overturned. Where are you now and what's the weather? It looks pretty windy where you are. Yeah, right now we're uh, at Sanablo. We're in Gibbon, Nebraska. This is just outside of Kearney, and you can see this is the leading edge of some outflow put down by those storms uh, north of Ravenna. And as you work your way north and east, too, uh, this is this an outflow is going to produce a 40, 50 mile per hour wind lightly. Uh, sometimes some of these outflows are strong enough to knock over some of these center pivots, some of these irrigation systems. But this is all cornfields out here for the most part. 35 are uh, roof mounted instruments at 35 mile per hour winds right now. But what you see here is a lot of dust that's being kicked up, a lot of dirt. Some of these areas haven't had a lot of rain today, and so it's not all packed down like mud. So that's where you're getting kind of the brown hue uh, to the sky right now. The thing is, that one's going to pass off to the east, lay down an outflow to the south, and there's actually another storm, uh, Kelly and Paul, back to the northwest. That may be one we get on. We'll, of course, bring it to you, but watch for a lot of gusty winds with these storms putting on outflows throughout the evening. Currently in our area, 83 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Tonight, a stray thunderstorm is possible through the evening. Partly cloudy, low 70. Wednesday, intervals of clouds and sunshine. Hot, high 91. Here's our seven day outlook.
don't compromise, and you're never willing to settle. So why are you wearing glasses with just any progressive lenses? See the difference with Verilux. The only progressive lens brand with lenses designed using wave technology. Enjoy smooth transitions and sharp vision at any distance. See your eye care professional about Verilux, the number one progressive lens brand. Ask for Verilux. Never compromise your vision. Now save $30 on Verilux when you combine with Crizal and Transitions lenses. Ask your eye care professional about Transitions signature lenses. Rich, chewy caramel, rolled up in smooth milk chocolate. All aboard. Rollo, get your smooth on. Yeah, I'm married. Doesn't matter. You do that for me? Really? Yeah, I'd like that. Who are you talking to? Uh, it's Jake from State Farm. Sounds like a really good deal. Jake from State Farm at 3 in the morning? Who is this? It's, it's Jake from State Farm. What are you wearing, Jake from State Farm? Uh, khakis. She sounds hideous. Well, she's a guy, so... Another reason more people stay with State Farm. Get to a better state. Shopping online is as easy as it gets. Wouldn't it be great if hiring plumbers, carpenters, and even piano tuners were just as simple? Thanks to Angie's List, now it is. We've made hiring anyone from a handyman to a dog walker as simple as a few clicks. Buy their services directly at Angie'sList.com. No more calling around. No more hassles. Start shopping from a list of top-rated providers today. Angie's List is revolutionizing local service again. Visit Angie'sList.com today. Right on cue. Just a meal. It's Meow Mix Meal Time. With wholesome ingredients and irresistible taste, no wonder it's the only one cats ask for by name. Anna. Ready. Now every stop is an opportunity to save gas. And maybe someone's day. Introducing the new fuel-efficient 2014 Malibu with stop-start technology. The car for the richest guys on earth. Start your summer off right and get $2,000 customer cash on every 2014 Chevy Malibu. Grow. It's what we do. But when we put something in the ground, feed it and care for it, don't we grow something more? We grow big celebrations and personal victories. We grow new beginnings and better endings. Grand gestures and perfect quiet. We grow escape, bragging rights, happier happy hours. So let's grow something greater with miracle Grow. What will you grow? Share your story at MiracleGrow.com. Welcome back to Weather Center Live and take a look at these pictures here. Heavy storm damage in Craig, Nebraska, which is uh, northeast of Omaha. And some type of metal structure fell over and actually smashed a truck that might be, I can't quite tell what it is. It could be an irrigation thing or maybe even a, a, a telephone pole. Hard to tell, but definitely a strong wind gust at times measured over 80 miles per hour, quite rampant across the region. And we also have another picture of a grain silo that was knocked over in the wind. This is in the same area of Craig, Nebraska. You can see the ominous clouds overhead as well. We did have some reports of trees down in some parts of central and western Nebraska. And also the flash flood threat that continues as well, especially as you get into the eastern side of the state. And take a look at this picture. It shows some type of a splintered tree besides what looks like used to be some type of outbuilding, maybe a garage or something that has totally collapsed because of the winds and possibly even a tornado as well. Again, we're closing in on about a dozen reported tornadoes so far today. Yeah, another shot of a tree coming down. Looks to be a pretty big uh, tree right there. You can see all the leaves scattered all over the place too. Keep in mind we've had some hail as well. That can also help strip the leaves and then you get that strong wind coming through and that can certainly blow over those trees quite easily. Yeah, and take a look at this. That's a roof which has been peeled off of some type of building here in Craig, Nebraska. And we're talking about winds. Again, 80, 90 plus mile per hour winds have been reported with these thunder 
thunderstorms. Some of the storms themselves are moving over 70 miles per hour, and that's still a huge concern as storms are still severe right now. Let's check in with Kelly, who's watching the radar. We are still on the lookout, unfortunately, for tornadoes, and now that it's uh, pretty dark out there, it's going to be hard to see, uh, you know, when bad weather is approaching, so you don't really need to see it. When you're under warning, you need to get to your safe place immediately. Do not wait for it. Lowest level of your home or business and away from the windows. These are active tornado watches going southern Iowa, northern Missouri, eastern Nebraska, including Omaha, and that takes us into the wee hours of the morning. Also, western Nebraska, we're watching this area as well, and the western parts of South Dakota, a severe thunderstorm watch for you. So already we've had some storms kind of lining up uh, right along or just a little bit south of Interstate 80, some severe thunderstorm warnings and flash flooding. That is a huge concern in Omaha. We've already had several inches of rainfall, but as we're zoomed in now to southern Iowa, this is where we do have an active tornado warning. Radar indicating some rotation with this storm right here, and now it looks like they may have just dropped the tornado warning. That is now a severe thunderstorm warning for Clark and Decatur counties, but still you need to do the same thing as you would with a tornado warning away from the window lowest level of your home and off the electrical appliances. Lots of lightning with these storms and you can see Omaha still under that flash flood warning until 1215 central time. Plenty of lightning with other storms that are going across this, the heart of Nebraska really around Kearney. Severe thunderstorm warnings going for all these counties that are circled in the yellow and here's a look at all the storm reports we've had already with the large hail and damaging winds and of course the flash flooding an issue for us as well. Paul. Well, speaking of the damage, massive hail has torn apart the side of this house here in Blair, Nebraska. You can see the hail is literally littering the ground there. And then, yeah, the side of the house, yeah, that is just a mess right there. Look at the size of the holes in the side, not the roof, the side of the house. Windows smashed out. And yeah, it's going to be a while before this house is uh, back up and running to uh, its previous state. It's, it's a beautiful house. Well, it was a beautiful looking house for a little while there. But still tomorrow, we still can't rule out the risk of more of the same. Strong as if you're thunderstorms, a large hail, damaging wind, plenty of lightning, also heavy rain here. Some of the same real estate we're dealing with it right now. Wyoming, into the Dakotas, into areas in Nebraska, northeast and areas of Colorado. And then we also have another area pushing eastward as we had really overnight tonight and through tomorrow. Starting across uh, southwestern Missouri towards the Boot Heel, also St. Louis, down through downstate Illinois, Paducah, Kentucky, uh, Louisville, Indianapolis. We're also talking about Cincinnati and on towards uh, Charleston, uh, South uh, Charleston, West Virginia, then on towards Pittsburgh, and eventually past Hagerstown, maybe even Roanoke, and into D.C. and Baltimore. We could see these storms make it that far as we head towards tomorrow. Already had a line of thunderstorms around D.C. earlier today, Baltimore as well. Our Torcons, fours and five as we head towards tomorrow. That means five is a 50% chance of seeing a tornado in and around areas of southern Ohio and northern Kentucky. Within 50 miles of that area, you could see a tornado uh, tomorrow because of this. So this is not just a one evening or a couple of hour event. This is the type of event which is at least a two day event and storms that start tonight will fire up and give a wind damage threat as we head into early tomorrow morning. Bridgestone tires perform best when you need it most. Like when Julie Bowen is late taking her son to a birthday party. Okay, people, you, front seat, you, ooh, out of my way. Sir? Julie has our new drive guard tires, the next generation of run flat technology. Oh, good, nails. Well, these tires are engineered to take a puncture and then drive up to 50 miles. 50 miles? Great, because I remember the present. But I forgot the kid. Yeah, I, yeah, you need to check. I'm not so I forgot. I have a lot of kids. As a commercial beekeeper, Dave tracks the Weather Channel forecast closely, predicting when crops across the country will bloom and need bees for pollination. At a moment's notice, he loads and trucks thousands of bees, keeping his eye on the weather to ensure his fragile cargo makes it to the blooms on time. When the bees and blooms matter, Dave turns to the Weather Channel. Currently in our area, 83 degrees under mostly cloudy skies.
tonight. A stray thunderstorm is possible through the evening. Partly cloudy, low 70. Wednesday, intervals of clouds and sunshine. Hot, high 91. Here's our seven day outlook. My football contract forbids me from riding motorcycles. That's a problem, because I really want to ride the new Can-Am Spider. Luckily, I found a loophole. You're retiring? I'm retiring. <laughs> it has it all, an exhilarating ride with awesome stability and control. There's no better time to buy a Can-Am Spider. Right now, get up to a $3,000 rebate on select models, plus a three-year warranty. Watch the ride that made Drew's agent cry at canamspider.com. You may have to travel like this, but at Courtyard, you can stay like this and enjoy more of this and this. It's a new stay. Courtyard. What makes Florida's natural taste so fresh and delicious? Is it the perfect blend of sunshine, rain, and temperature? Maybe it's the fact that our juice is always 100% Florida and never imported. Florida's natural. The powerful and efficient 5.7 liter MEV8 with 22 highway miles per gallon and 395 horsepower. Come with me now. Come with me now. Come with me now. How far you take it is entirely up to you. Guts. What do you mean homeowner's insurance doesn't cover floods? A few inches of water caused all this? But I don't even live near the water. What you don't know about flood insurance may shock you, including the fact that a preferred risk policy starts as low as $129 a year. For an agent, call 1-88-RAIN-914. Pets are family, and we know it. That's why you can trust 1-800-PetMeds. Recognized for our high standards in pet pharmacy, we sell the exact same medications as the vet, but for 10, 20, up to 50% less. With fast, free shipping, our 100% satisfaction guarantee, and even a free treat, over 8 million pet parents have counted on us. So call or order online at 1-800-PetMeds.com today. Tonight's scheduled programming will not be seen, so we can bring you essential severe weather coverage. We're going to be with you all night long covering this severe weather threat. Only on the Weather Channel. And good evening, everyone. Welcome to Severe Storm Central. We are inside the expert area here. It's been a heck of a day. We've already had about 200 reports of wind, hail, and also tornadoes. Tornado is actually on the lowest side. I want to talk to Sean Reynolds, though. He's been watching social media for us and shown some incredible pictures, especially some of the homes with their siding literally blown off from the hail. Yeah, and it's not just homes, Jim. We're also seeing um, this is a hotel, I believe, in Rath, um, excuse me, Missouri Valley, Iowa. It says the roof was blown off and lots of uh, windows blown out. We're yeah, we've seen that on a couple of, of occasions tonight. Yeah, we're also seeing a lot of hail in Iowa. Tennis like ball, at least. Yeah. And also, this oh boy, is yeah. north of Omaha. So this is at least, I think, the second one uh, flipped uh, tractor trailer that we've seen today. All right, and you know what? That's been the big thing, Sean. It's been uh, over 100 reports of hail. We've had over 90 reports of wind, and we are just getting started. So let's find out where the action is going to go as we go through the rest of the night. Talk to Dr. Greg Forbes about that. Um, Greg, it's kind of amazing when we look at this. We can almost trace the damage, especially that's gone now across four states, back to South Dakota. Yeah, we really can, although I want to make a, a correction to something we said earlier. While it does look like we have a derecho, that's a widespread damaging mm -hmm. wind event, of the progressive kind from the one bow echo and then beginning to get the cumulative effects that we call a serial derecho. 
Uh, this one here we tracked before uh, that was including some reports that were only hail. So technically it only counts the wind reports. Okay. So Sarah, show us how far there are the wind reports out of that one. So uh, not all of these well, reports that we tracked before. We had a 500 mile. It looks like more like now we have about 372 miles of, of wind from this one. But but you still have a derecho We here. still have a derecho, but it's not, a, not as big as we had previously right. said. We, we counted some area that, would, as far as we know, where it was all hail and not wind. But not to say it won't be 500 well, it, miles before yeah, the end of the night. Yeah. But I mean, we're going to have an additional, yeah. it'll be over 500 by the time yeah. we get to tomorrow so, morning. So you're saying there's two of them on there, the one yeah. to the north and then the one that's been essentially or central Nebraska. Or maybe more than one in that southern track. But right. the leading storm that uh, has produced the uh, the longest one now is down just past Lamoni, Iowa. It's on the Iowa-Missouri border. And there's even a storm out ahead of that that is parts of it now beginning to hit Kirksville, Missouri. You can see these storms getting a little more uh, erratic looking, uh, multiple arms coming out. So mm -hmm. uh, th even this one, not that real hard bow echo like we sometimes get, but still capable of producing damaging winds now. The tornado warning has expired, but now parts of Grundy and Mercer and Sullivan counties there in northern parts of Missouri. With yeah, that's that, probably the slowest that that's yeah. been moving, to be honest with yeah, you, all night. Yeah, it's moving in the slowest, but still some hail cores in there, still mm -hmm. some damaging winds in places. Uh, for sure coming with this. All right, we've had a lot of damaging winds with that, though. 80 to 100 miles an hour in several cases. Uh, hotel roofs blown off. Omaha, we've had water rescues, and now it looks like more rain getting ready to head into Omaha and Council Bluffs. Yeah, and uh, already flash flood warnings there. And this was the second storm that came into Omaha. What it, We had 79, 86 S mile per hour gusts with that in one location, I think, because it came across the area. Uh, yes, or 69. 70, or yes, 71, I yeah. think, was the highest I saw. And Just uh, so Omaha, yeah. we're, we're talking Adams, Cass, and Taylor counties now coming toward the Creston uh, area. Uh, there was earlier uh, maybe a 91 mile per hour gust yes, with that correct. previous bow. Uh, so we're getting repeated winds here and there across now parts of southern uh, Iowa uh, as these storms train across this area. So right along the leading edge there, uh, we, where the fast winds are. On this one, uh, compared to the others that get a little ragged, this one is still a pretty good looking bow echo. So probably some, still some pretty strong winds with this one. Maybe the strongest, uh, that little protrusion there just to the north of Villisca uh, and then uh, also just to the north of Quincy. All right. So, yeah, a couple rounds through Omaha tonight. We've already had several inches of rain uh, in and around the Omaha area. I think Sarah showed me a, a, almost a four-inch amount yep. now. Uh, and oh, guess what? <laughs> You're going to get it again, Omaha. Yeah, probably so some rain. The heaviest, this one is coming to the south side down toward Plattsmouth. Look at the hail core in this one north and west of Murdoch, Cass, Sarpy, and Saunders counties. Uh, you have severe thunderstorm warning. This is one that I had been following with a possible oh, that's, tornado that's at that near uh, David City. hook yep. area coming toward the, the Murdoch area. And I do have this one on high resolution. Big hail cores uh, coming into the uh, far south side of the Omaha area, Ashland area getting the hail, Louisville, Cedar Creek, Springfield, and then that little dog leg in there. Uh, at this point, I don't think it looks there, quite as... There's a 70 mile an hour wind. Yeah, there's, right there. there's definitely been some damaging winds uh, with this previously. It uh, no longer has extremely strong rotation. It's mostly gusts by the looks of things out on this uh, gust front uh, as it pushes east. Okay, Sarah, well, uh, timing this out, Plattsmouth about 818 as this uh, line with damaging winds and hail pushes east. Uh, slide it again uh, farther to the west, Sarah, and we'll take a look uh, quickly at some additional storms. Uh, the uh, as there's the one coming south of Omaha, then quite a line of storms uh, right coming into the area south and west of Columbus with that one little especially strong bow coming right now to the north and east of Central City. And with a little kink in the line there with some pretty strong inflow in that little notch, can never totally rule out a tornado. So, so we don't kind of see, we're, we're transitioning here, aren't yeah. we? We do not see single supercells no, going on anymore at this point. That's exactly right. We're seeing mostly storms that are mostly bow echoes that might produce a tornado, but uh, are producing these surges maybe a county wide in places of damaging winds. When we come back, we'll find out when it ends and where all these storms go tonight. Currently in our area, 83 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Tonight, a stray thunderstorm is possible through the evening. Partly cloudy, low 70. 
Wednesday, intervals of clouds and sunshine. Hot, high 91. Here's our seven day outlook. See, that's just one word to describe what people from the Northern Plains to the Ohio Valley will be dealing with tonight. And that does include places like Des Moines, St. Louis, but we are making sure you stay covered from damaging winds, destructive hail, flash flooding, and even the possibility of tornadoes. We are here for you all night to keep you ahead of whatever is headed your way. From the Weather Channel headquarters in Atlanta, you are watching Weather Center Live. Hey there, welcome to a very busy Tuesday evening and a special edition of Weather Center Live. I'm Paul Goodloe. And I'm Kelly Cass. Thank you so much for staying with us at this hour. We're talking about thousands without power across the plains in the Midwest. We've had damaging winds.